Good morning, everyone. It is great to be back here with you all, and especially for me to be back here in Orlando. Uh, Florida is my home state, so it's always a very nice homecoming. But today I'm here from Microsoft to cast our vision for modern teamwork in the modern workplace. Over the last few years, we have seen how digital transformation has shaped a new culture of work, from cubicles and silos to collaborative workspaces, from rigid hierarchy to more openness, flexibility, and inclusion, from individual achievement to teamwork and shared success, from limited data to boundless information. As the stakes get higher, we're expected to be more creative, to get more done with less, and to deliver results faster. Digital technology continues to advance in exciting ways, and a new kind of workplace is emerging, an intelligent workplace where AI anticipates our needs, simplifies our tasks, and extends our capabilities. And we at Microsoft believe this new technology is not just for a chosen few, but for every person in every organization, empowering each of us to work together across teams, across countries, across languages, meeting and exceeding new demands. This is the future of work, an intelligent workplace for everyone. An intelligent workplace uses technology to bring people together, and it fosters a culture of engagement and inclusion. Why is this important? Well, a recent Gallup survey talked about the fact that worldwide, only 15% of people feel engaged at work. But when you look at this globally, at the highest performing companies, 70% of employees feel engaged. And those companies' profits are 21% higher as a result. And so we know that this notion of engagement and inclusion is a business imperative. And we also know that with the right technology and tools, you can drive higher employee engagement. But these boundaries exist all around us, whether it's distance or language or org complexity, all of this gets in the way of teams doing their very best work. And so we at Microsoft are working every single day to break down these barriers. Whether you're a new employee who's joining a company and ramping up to speed for the very first time, or whether you're a long-tenured employee who's just looking to optimize how you get work done, this is why we built Microsoft Teams. We built Microsoft Teams two years ago and launched it, designed to foster this kind of inclusive work culture. And in this period of time, we're announcing today that Teams is now being used by more than 500,000 organizations globally. And this includes some of the largest companies in the world. Teams is being used by 91 of the Fortune 100 companies. And what makes Teams unique is that it is a four-in-one solution, bringing together chatting, meeting, calling, and the office apps, all in a single canvas, and extensible out to third-party applications and workflows as well. But underpinning all of this is the security and compliance that is crucial for today's businesses. Also, the intelligence, the brain in Microsoft Teams is powered by the Microsoft Graph. The Microsoft Graph is the largest graph of human activity at work ever created. And what it does is it connects hundreds of billions of data signals together to offer you practical insights throughout your day. So whether you're looking for that relevant piece of content or just trying to book a conference room or translating a conversation across languages for people who are thousands of miles apart. This is the Intelligent Workplace, and I'm going to have my colleague, Farron Roper, show it to you in action. Thank you, Lori. 
I use Microsoft Teams for all of my collaboration and communication needs, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to start over here in the left rail, and you can see my activity feed, which is kind of where I triage all my messages by importance. You can see that I've been at mentioned. But in Teams, I also have the ability to have one is to one or group chats. Now let me jump over to my teams, and you can see that I'm actively involved in collaboration in a number of different teams, one of them being Enterprise Connect 2019. Over here in the feature planning channel, which is really just where we group our conversations based on subject matter, as I scroll up, you'll see that Office applications are built into the team's experience. So my colleagues and I can edit and co-create within the context of teams and stay in our workflow. But true collaboration only works when everyone has a voice. Watch what happens when one of my colleagues posts in a language other in Spanish. I can use the translation capabilities in Teams to translate from Spanish to my native language, English, as Teams supports more than 60 different languages. Another great feature from an accessibility and inclusivity standpoint is immersive reader in Teams. Let me show you what that looks like. One in five people in the workplace today suffer from dyslexia. With Immersive Reader, I can do things like change my text preferences or change my reading preferences or even have my content read out loud. This is a great capability for speech comprehension and focus. More so, I can select certain keywords and actually have the associated images appear. Now, on the topic of imagery, Teams is rich in visual communications. Here you can see one of my colleagues sharing his excitement for our impending team dinner. And visual communications have really allowed myself and the team to express our personality, but also have a little bit of fun. Now, sometimes you just need to make an announcement. And that announcement could be the one that you see right now, like welcoming a new team member into the team. It could be announcing an award category. But I'm going to share an announcement with you guys today. And you're going to be the first to see this. Here goes. Private channels, our number one most requested feature, are on their way. Over here in the Teams engineering channel, you can see it's been demarcated with a lock, indicating that the conversations and files are ring-fenced to a select number of participants. It's being tested internally with customers and will be coming later this year. From an extensibility standpoint, we have hundreds of applications in Teams including popular partner applications like Trello and Poly. But what I really love about working in Teams is workflows. So when I'm at the office, whether I'm approving a purchase order or booking a shuttle to get from one point in the campus to another, or even ordering a meal, that entire workflow end-to-end -end happens in Teams. And we're hearing a lot of wonderful examples from our customers that are automating workflows like IT support through partnerships like ServiceNow. But I'm going to switch gears and talk about meetings for a second. And Teams supports different types of meetings modalities, from one is to one to one is to many to broadcast meetings. But what you're seeing here today is the new calendar experience in Teams. You now have a full calendar of your day. And what you'll notice is that it looks very similar to the Outlook calendar experience. And all your meetings are carried across as well. But it's got additional capabilities, like being able to right click and start a chat with meeting participants. Another piece of the team's equation, as Laurie mentioned, is calling. So Microsoft phone system is providing dial tone for millions of customers globally. And I can do things like receive a voicemail where I can either read the transcript or I can play the voicemail out loud. But you'll notice over here that I have my phone number to make incoming and outbound calls. Now, I've just realized that I've shared my number with thousands of you here today. But I'm safe from your prank calls because I have gone into my settings and I forwarded my number. So while you may not be able to get hold of me today, you will get an IVR that tells you exactly what the time is. I can also do things like change my ringtones and I can block calls. And if I have devices to configure, I can do that in Teams as well. I can make a test call and immediately receive the call diagnostics. But what, what I love about Teams is how intuitive it's made my everyday collaboration and communication. Whether I am translating languages with colleagues from across the world, or having a meeting transcribe, or a simple thing like going to the com command box, typing backslash call, 
and have the Microsoft Graph surface suggestions of people that I may want to call based on recent interactions. Teams is my digital hub, and it's brought together colleagues from all over the world, different backgrounds and perspectives, to come together and collaborate and deliver our very best work. Thank you. Thank you, Farron. So Farron showed us examples of teams at work for information workers. But what about those two billion people out there who are on the front lines? We talk about these as first line workers. And these are people who are in task oriented roles, such as retail clerks or factory technicians. And this group of people are traditionally underserved by technology. And over the last year, we've been working really, really hard to change that. And I'm going to ask Kira uh, to come out now and show you what we're doing for first line workers. Thanks, Lori. First line workers don't have desktops. In fact, they don't even work at desks. So this becomes integral to their day to day operations. Allow me to show you some new features. Shifts, your schedule management tool in Teams, replaces those outdated processes of managing shift schedules and gives a rich experience from the mobile device. First line workers can easily clock in and out of their shifts and breaks, and managers can geofence a worksite location and use GPS data to validate that a team member is at work. You know, many first line workers take pictures of things like locations, receipts and inventory, and say, for instance, a first-line worker needs to take a photo if this crumbled up receipt. Well, they can use smart camera. With smart camera, whoop, apologies. With smart camera, simply take a photo, and it gets optimized automatically, making the image clearer to consume and easier to read. It will do that shortly. Let me try that again. OK, in any case, the great thing about smart camera is that the image does not get stored locally on the device. And for many of us, sharing updates on the fly is extremely important. So say, for instance, there's a story in the area that's running low on stock, and a first-line worker needs to transport inventory in a hurry. Well, they can simply share their location to let their team know that they're on their way. And in those moments when you need to share an update on the fly, you can use the record and share audio feature. With the hold of a button, you can record a message and share it with your colleague. And should they not be able to listen to it right then and there, they can listen to it on demand later. And so we recognize first-line workers work in dynamic and dispersed environments. So we've created a new capability called Praise. Praise is your employee recognition tool in Teams that enables managers and team members to send a badge to congratulate a job well done and to foster greater camaraderie amongst the team. Now, I know there are a ton of capabilities I've just mentioned for first-line workers, but I recognize there are a, a dozen of IT admins in the audience, and I've got something special for you. Our new first-line worker configuration policy. You can apply this policy or create your own custom policy. Say you're an enterprise and you only want your first line workers to have access to shifts, chat, and calling. Well, you can create a custom policy and apply it exclusively to your first line workforce. Now, you can give role based access to the team's experiences that your employees need most. And I'm not, done, I'm not done yet. There's so much more coming to Teams. For example, in healthcare, we're creating experiences for care teams to work better together, manage patient data, and handle urgent messages. And in the education space, we've created functionality for teachers to create assignments, manage grades, and track student performance. And there's so much more. I invite you today to start using Teams as we enhance the experience across industries, across devices, and for all workers. Thank you. Thank you, Kira. As Kira showed, we're creating these new uh, capabilities for first line and industry workers so that they can do their jobs more efficiently and help them save time in their day. But now let's talk about meetings. Uh, all of us uh, have meetings, and it's a big part of our day. 
Well, Microsoft Teams is creating outstanding, hassle-free meetings that are surrounded by a wide range of intuitive devices. And I'm going to have Jason Ilya come and show you what we're doing with meetings right now. Thanks, Lori. So we're going to cover all types of meetings today. But to get started, I'm going to start with the very largest type, a live event. And live events allow people in your organizations to broadcast meeting and video content to huge online audiences. Now, I'm going to kick off my day tuning into one that was already recorded this morning. And who you see on the screen here is Anna. She leads our Chinese subsidiary. And on this live event she's hosting, she's going to be making some announcements to the sales community. Now, before I get started, my Mandarin's a bit rusty. But that's no issue. I can actually go into the settings now and adjust this to English, my native language, so I can follow along. Let's hear what Anna has to say. So this is killer. Not only, yeah, thank you. So not only can you watch these events live or on demand, but now anyone watching can adjust them to fit the language that they prefer. And even better, setting up a live event is actually just as easy as setting up a regular Teams meeting. So anyone can deliver and broadcast these. And you can do that very simply with a webcam, all the way up to a full studio production like we do internally at Microsoft for our very own CEO town halls. And with that, today we're happy to announce that live events is general availability for everyone. And you can watch these. Thank you. Now you can watch them in Teams, in Yammer, or in Stream for up to 10,000 attendees. All right, so let's continue with my day. I'm going to pop over to a one-on-one -on -one meeting I have here with my colleague Kendra. So let's kick this off. Hey, Jace, how's the keynote going so far? I think it's going pretty well. What do you guys think? How are we doing today? Hey, so I wanted to talk to you about Kendra, that. Kendra, can you hang on? I can't, uh, I can't hear you over the roar of applause in here. Thank you, guys. Uh, no issue, though. We actually have a new feature that I'm going to show you here called Live Captions. This new feature gives you captions in real time during your meeting. We built it for people who are hard of hearing or have different levels of language proficiency. It's also great for anyone to follow along in a noisy environment. Teams can do this natively. No special add-ons or integrations are required. Isn't that amazing? So this is awesome. I'm actually testing this feature internally at Microsoft, and I find myself actually turning it on for meetings now by default because it keeps me more engaged with what's going on and from missing anything that happens in the meeting. Now, you may have also noticed when Kendra joined this meeting, she turned on background blur. And this is a great feature that we shipped at the end of last year in Teams. And our customers are loving this because it's removing distractions in the meetings, allowing people and participants to focus on what's most important, the meetings and the content themselves. But today, we're actually taking this one step further. And instead of just blurring your background, you can now customize it. That's right. So I can drop a custom background for any event like the one you see here for Enterprise Connect. Or let's say maybe we're in a more relaxed team meeting, and Kendra wants to show a beach to let everyone know she's working real hard. <laughs> or let's say I'm actually at the beach, but I want an appropriate background. Maybe something like my desk. Back in Seattle, there you go. We are thrilled to bring so many great new features to you, to all types of meetings, from the largest live events to one-on-one -on -one meetings and everything in between. All right, I need to get running, Kendra. Everybody wave goodbye to Kendra. Bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She can't see you. Thank you for waving, though. All right, let me pop back in. Now, I'm going to join a weekly sync that we have with our engineering team. And in this scenario, we're going to be planning an upcoming conference. Now, I want you to pay attention what happens when I hit join here, because you're going to see a pre-join screen in the meeting. And a notification is going to pop up right there. And what Teams is doing is it's telling me that the meeting has already started and is in progress, and there are multiple people on the call. And it recommends that I join muted. So I'm not that guy who interrupts the meeting already in progress with a bunch of background noise. This is brilliant. So let me go ahead and join muted. And check this out. We heard your requests. 
What you're seeing right now is a preview of our four to nine participant expansion of the new meeting video gallery. And this is allowing more people to be seen and heard directly on the screen. Now, one thing I noticed, though, is I'm not seeing our main presenter here, Ilya, who usually leads these calls. Ilya, are you hanging around somewhere? Hey, Jace. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm a little late. I had to stop and pick something up. No worries. Um, so uh, since I was running late, I joined our meeting on Teams Mobile. But now that I'm here, why don't you come and join me in our Microsoft Teams room? Sounds good. And the first thing we want to do, of course, is get our room system into our Teams meeting. And that is super simple to do with proximity-based join, which is coming to Teams desktop and mobile in a few weeks. So just with a couple of taps, my phone detects the room, and I can add it to the meeting, and a couple of things will happen. The room joins, so I have the great audio and video there, but my phone is still joined to the meeting, and what you didn't hear is any audio howling. With my phone, I can present PowerPoint or any other content and continue to control it from my mobile device. But in this meeting, our key participant is Phil, and I really want to get a close look at him as we're talking. Luckily, I can do that with video pinning shipped now on Microsoft Teams rooms. So all I have to do is find Phil in the roster, select pin, and now we see Phil's video on the full screen. That's perfect. Hey, Phil, last week when we had this meeting, I think you took a screenshot of the whiteboard and the notes that we captured. Can you share that with everybody so we can go over it? Actually, better yet, why don't you paste that into the Microsoft whiteboard? So what Phil is doing is starting up the Microsoft Digital Whiteboard, which is coming soon to Teams meetings. When this, in this whiteboard, Phil can not only paste a picture from our brainstorming last week, but he can also convert that picture to digital ink. And once he does that, we can all ideate on it. So Jace and Phil, using their personal devices, can go ahead and co-edit. But that's not all. We are excited to announce that we are adding support for touch displays to Microsoft Teams rooms. So here we have a beautiful Avacor touch display, which means I can join in the fun and go ahead and co-edit right with Phil and Jace right in the room. Now, these touch displays have come way down in price, and so they're gonna land in a lot of rooms. But we know they're not there today. Most rooms have something more special, more classic, like my whiteboard classic edition here. <laughs> now, if you're like me, the worst part of any meeting as a remote participant is when people start working on a whiteboard and you just have no idea what's going on. So I am incredibly excited to announce that we are adding support for content capture cameras in Microsoft Teams rooms. All you have to do is connect any USB webcam like this one here, and then I can go to my console and start content sharing. Now, there's some magic that's gonna happen very quickly when I do this, so pay close attention. Did you all catch that? So that is our intelligent capture services recognizing the whiteboard, framing it, zooming in on it, reducing glare, and sharpening the ink, basically making everything super legible for remote participants. And there's just one more thing. As Lori and Jay said, we really believe in full transparency in Teams meetings. So if I pick up my marker and I wanna go ahead and write on the whiteboard, people can see right through me. And when I move aside, everyone can see what I wrote, and that now becomes part of the collaboration. Thank you. Now this goes way beyond typical whiteboard enhancement. This is really technology 
magic in action. And this is the kind of magic that Teams is going to bring this year to every meeting and every meeting room. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jason, Ilya. Amazing stuff. I'm getting to use a lot of these new features every day, and I cannot wait for you all to begin using them, too. Uh, but now I want to welcome out Bob Davis. Bob is our Corporate Vice President of uh, Office Partner Engineering. And Bob is responsible for helping our customers get on to Teams every single day. So there you are, Bob. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Lori. Hey, I'm honored to represent an engineering team that delivers magic like you just saw today and constantly listens to our customers and partners, innovating to make teams easy to deploy, manage, and secure. We've been really focused on helping all of you and taking our IT admin capabilities to the next level. Microsoft Teams Admin Center now supports a Teams-only mode to simplify the Skype to Teams upgrade process. As an admin, you have access to new analytics and reporting experience that provides rich insights across key metrics, including Teams usage, user activity, and device usage. Our on-prem customers can now take advantage of the benefits of meetings in the cloud using a very new Teams Meeting First capability. With Meetings First, customers can use Teams for meetings even when their chats and calling remains on premises. You can take advantage of some of the awesome new capabilities that you just saw. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to lead Microsoft IT, and I know that large-scale transitions can be really hard. We've learned a lot from our own massive transition to Microsoft Teams. In less than four months, we successfully transitioned 180,000 employees and vendors from Skype, to bu Skype for Business to Teams. Here's how we did it. First, our IT department divided users in the company into different cohorts by function and developed readiness materials for end users, training videos, and internal communications. Second, we had over 12 hundred champions across 57 countries that help people on board. This has been the fastest upgrade that Microsoft IT has ever done. We've taken these lessons and we've created a set of resources that customers can use to plan their own journey to Teams. We have a range of options for all of you. These include things like automated upgrades for simpler use cases, high touch engagements for the most complex customers and scenarios, a new Office 365 adoption framework for Microsoft Teams available at the link you see on the screen. And we'll continue to add resources to Fast Track, our service that provides onboarding assistance to Office 365 customers. Now, we've seen tremendous growth in partner-provided service offerings, ranging from end-user adoption and change management to meetings and voice deployments, including working with our device partners to integrate the latest Teams rooms systems and Teams certified phones and peripherals that our customers love to deploy. I'd like to thank all of our partners for innovating on the Teams platform, from our device makers to our app developers and to calling providers. And as you've seen today, Microsoft Teams is not just about intelligent software, but also about powerful devices. Microsoft Teams has the broadest, most innovative community of device partners in the industry. I invite all of you to see some of the newest Microsoft Teams devices at our booth. Now, let's have a preview. Hi everyone, here at the Microsoft Teams booth, check out the latest Teams devices from all of our partners, whether you're in the conference room, at your desk, or on the go. For larger conference rooms, we have Microsoft Teams room devices from Logitech, Poly, Prestron, and Yaling, all launching this year. Now a growing trend has been the smaller focus room, and here we have an all-in-one solution from Yaling that offers great video and audio. And at your desk, executives can now have a large touchscreen video phone experience, or you can choose from the many Teams desk phones like these. Sennheiser, Yaling, and Jabra have new speaker phones out too that have a dedicated Teams button, so you can take key actions in Teams with just one touch. And for everyone who lives on their mobile phone, Polly offers a mobile station. 
It wirelessly charges your mobile phone and offers a great Teams meeting and calling experience when paired with your device. And don't forget to check out our latest headsets, like these fully wireless earbuds from Jabra. They sound great even when you're on the go. And best of all, all the devices that you just saw today are now available on our brand new Devices Marketplace, where you can get up to 40% off. So use this promo code and try it out today. Thank you. As hopefully you can see today, the intelligent workplace is truly here. Whether you're in the C-suite or a remote worker working from home or a first-line worker serving customers each day, Teams is ready for you. Teams is the only product in the market that brings all of these capabilities together and does so securely. I want to thank all of you for being such a great audience today. And I'd also like to extend an invitation to you all to try Teams for yourself. If you're an existing Office 365 customer, you can go ahead and get started. It's all yours. Uh, and if not, you can go out to this URL and uh, try Teams for free. All teams are welcome. Thank you. Thank you.